one of the products we have developed is called 360 Chain Roll. And when we were starting the Chain Roll project, there was the need that we saw, that we were trying to solve, is depending on your soil type and your field conditions, residue, when it comes out of the bottom of the combine head, can last up to five years before microbials have it broke down. That's for maybe more of a standard corn head. There's corn heads called a chopping corn head that are breaking it down into a lot smaller pieces, and that's breaking the residue down faster. But the problem there is you have little pieces that you can't get out of your seed trench next spring when you come through with your planter. So when we started this project, the goal was to create pieces that would break down fast, but would also be big enough that a row cleaner could get it out of the way when you're coming through next spring and plant a new crop. And what we came up with was this idea of chaining corn stalks. And how the chain roll concept works is we want to take a corn stalk and we want to cut it into like seven inch long pieces. But in that seven inch long piece, we want to have cuts like every inch to inch and a half that allow microbial action and they allow microbials to get inside the stalk and start to break it down early. But next spring, you've got a seven inch piece that your row cleaner can grab and throw out of the way when you're coming through with the planter. So that was pretty challenging, as you can imagine. We had a corn head in our R&D facility that was mounted on a stand, and we had a belt that would feed stalks into it. And we were actually 3D printing chain rolls when we started out. We were using a very hard plastic we are printing them with, and it would only last for a couple stalks, but it would teach us things, like what kind of teeth do we want on this, and what kind of cutting flutes, and what kind of tolerances do we need, and what's the shape to really get in and tear the corn stalk but not break it into too many small pieces. So that's how we started this project. High-speed cameras, plastic stalk rolls on a head in our R&D facility. As you can imagine, big mess, corn stalks everywhere, lots of fun, lots of interesting learning. And after working through that, we kind of came up with like, here's what we think we want. We want a stock roll with two cutting flutes on it and a bunch of teeth. And those cutting flutes are going to cut the stock every seven inches, and the teeth in between are going to dig into the stock and rip it open and allow my curbial action to get inside. So that was a fun start. Then we took off running in the field. And of course, had all kinds of challenges. We had challenges with stalks wrapping around the rolls and becoming the rolls, instead of being steel rolls, became steel rolls with a heavy layer of stalks wrapped around them, which led us into trash knife development. Getting knives would ride right outside the rolls and knock the stalks off and let them exit the roll and not stay stuck to it. So while trash knives are very important to get the trash peeled off, what's also really critical is the timing of those two rolls. They need to be timed just right. If the knife cutting flutes don't come right together at the perfect spot, then what happens is they don't actually cut the stalk. And then if the teeth aren't lined up, they don't actually tear it open. You know, if you look at a chain roll, there's a little impression inside the tooth. That's critical to allow the tooth to dig in and rip out of the stock. So the chain roll you see today that we sell has a laser cladding treatment on it. And the challenge is you want to hard surface coat something so that it lasts, but you've got to keep it sharp. And that's an interesting challenge. So what's really cool about laser cladding is you coat one side with laser cladding, it's a hard surface, and then as the stock roll wears, it actually stays sharp because the underneath, which is slightly softer, wears off a little bit faster than the laser cladding. And as a result, you end up with a self-sharpening knife and tooth that stays sharp over time. So there's lots of options today for stock rolls you can put on your corn head. But with 360 chain roll, it's about getting the stock cut just right. It's about tearing the sides open. It's about manufacturing it to perfection. It's all about the details, and that's really what makes the difference.